Hey guys, Justin here. Welcome back to the show. Today we're taking a look at a game called Garden Simulator. If you know anything about me, you know how much I love going out in the yard in my white New Balance, the crack of dawn on a Saturday morning. Okay, honestly, no, that's not me. Don't have a green thumb, don't like getting my hands dirty. It's the worst. But that doesn't mean that I don't like games with farming as a core mechanic. You know, Rune Factory, Animal Crossing, Stardew Valley. I love all of these games. So this week, I've been getting my hands dirty with a game called Garden Simulator. It's a game that, as the name implies, gives you your own digital garden to play in. Garden Simulator has been around on the PC for a while, but now Toplitz Productions is finally bringing it over to consoles. Before we get started, I want to say thanks to the team over at Toplitz Productions for sending over a review code. All right, let's get started. The game starts off like any other. You're a burnt out, apartment dwelling desk worker who wants to get out of the office and get closer to nature. Sound familiar? You start off by taking over a piece of property that used to be owned by your great aunt Ellie. Since she passed away, the house has been all but abandoned. It's dilapidated, it's dirty, it's a huge mess when you get there. And when you first arrive, there's just trash all over the place. The windows are boarded up, the grass is growing up to your knees, and for the first few days, you spend a lot of your time just cleaning the place up, getting it ready to be this ultimate garden. It might sound like it's a little stressful, a little, I don't know, a little too close to reality, but when you're playing this game, it's super peaceful from the music to the, the cleanup and the gardening task. Everything is so calm and relaxing. I loved every second of it. When you first start out, outside from cleaning up, there isn't much you can do. But slowly you start to unlock new vegetables and flowers, decorations, and tools to help you out around the garden. Outside of unlocking new crops and getting new tools for your garden, you also unlock different areas of the house. So when you first start, you only have the front yard to work with. So everything's kind of a mess. You're like planting crops. You're also taking care of the lawn. You're petting the cat all in the same spot. And it just kind of looks like a mess. But as you earn more money by growing crops, selling crops, uh, mowing grass, doing that kind of stuff, then you can eventually buy each side lot of the house, and there's a huge backyard that you can also unlock, but you do it really gradually. The sections are actually a little expensive. I think they're like 600 points or something. So it takes a little while to, to build up to buying them, but once you do and you sort of give yourself room to grow and expand, the game really starts to open up. Unsurprisingly, this game is a bit of a grind. You'll work day after day to upgrade your equipment or unlock a new crop, but it's all fun and none of the work really feels all that tedious. It doesn't feel like you're grinding all that much. I think part of that is because unlocking new items is paced really well. You never feel like you've gone too many days without a new upgrade. There's always an upgrade coming around the corner and, and there's always something new to play with. Some of the unlockables can really turn your boring yard into a work of art. There are hedges, pieces of furniture, uh, ornate fences, garden gnomes, and a whole lot more to make your garden truly unique, truly what you want it to be. For me though, I'm not super interested in building, you know, the most beautiful garden in town. I truly use this game like my own little private, personal zen garden. I put my headphones on and just kind of zoned out while I mowed the lawn and watered the garden. It was a really, really relaxing experience for me. I, I loved it. A game like Garden Simulator fits the Switch's portability really well. This is the type of game that you can pick up and play for a few minutes while you're on the go, or when you're at home, you can slide it in the dock for an extended play session. But either way, the game just fits really well. I feel like I have to say this for a lot of third party games, but Garden Simulator struggles a bit on the Switch. I notice it most when I'm mowing the grass, blades of grass are constantly popping in and popping out. Just makes it hard to know where I need to mow next, where I've already mowed. 
and it's just it takes you out of the experience for a game that's really built around you know, getting you, um, you know, really into it and buying into the whole aesthetic of it. The constant pop in and out, the frame rate drops, it, it all just breaks the immersion a little bit. At the end of the day, Garden Simulator is really a simple game. You mow the grass, you plant your vegetables, and you don't forget to pet the cat. But there's a lot of charm in that simplicity. It's one of those games that it's exactly what you make it. For me, having fun with the game was just winding down after a long day. There's something so satisfying for me about simply just checking things off of a to-do list. But for you, the beauty of this game might be building this, you know, extravagant ultimate uh, uh, garden, you know? But for me, I just like to keep it simple. Garden Simulator is releasing on May 10th for the Nintendo Switch, the PlayStation 5, and the Xbox Series. It's also coming to the last gen consoles. So guys, that's my review of Garden Simulator. It's not a game that's for everybody necessarily, but if you like simulations, I think you're really gonna like this game. It's got a nice realistic aesthetic to it that brings something new to this you know, farming genre, and I had a really good time with it. This game strikes the perfect balance between you know, just enough grind to keep you busy, but not too much grind to just drive you nuts and make you never want to finish anything. It's got a really satisfying gameplay loop that if you like these kind of games, I think you're really going to enjoy it.